Hi, this is Dr. Joseph Sarkissian. It has always been a source of sadness and anxiety to see very young children suffering from early childhood caries, or in other words, tooth decay. These children are almost between two and four years old. Many teeth in the primary dentition will be needed for at least seven years. Therefore, ignoring these cavities is not an option. They will definitely lead to infections and premature tooth loss with unnecessary suffering, not to mention permanent changes to jawbone development, crowding, and speech and swallowing dysfunction. For more than 20 years, I have offered sedation dentistry for children, employing a specialist anesthesiologist and restoring these baby teeth along biocompatible guidelines. We have really never experienced any adverse effects. Today I'm showcasing one example showing the induction process by Dr. Hussein, followed by some of the restorative procedures, including a baby root canal, restoration of deep cavities, and a laser phrenectomy. She weighs, what, about 21 pounds, you said? Uh, 21, yeah. 21 pounds. Dr. Hussein, we have about a minute after this before she sleeps. Yeah, at, at least. I think yeah. it's going to be more, yeah. more or less three to five minutes. So it takes a little while for this to take effect, mom and dad. And you know, of course, she's not going to, she's not going to be happy with, uh, obviously, receiving this. And you know, the crying will probably last about a minute. And then after the minute or so, she'll start to look around the room. And then ultimately, there'll come a point where she's going to be staring in one direction. Okay? okay. We're just going to clean the area just to make sure there's no, no bugs on here, okay? Chloe, sweetheart, just a little pinch. <laughs> you know, she may not get fully to the point where she's sleepy enough that she's not going to move at all. Mm -hmm. So let's hope she gets to a phase or a state where that she can dissociate a little bit from you guys. We can get her into the chair and then get the IV going. But she may still cry a little bit when the IV goes in. But she won't remember that. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. So she's starting to, as you see, look around a little bit. Yeah. And so things are, her reality's changing just slightly. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably another couple minutes she'll be in that state where we need her to be. Okay? okay? We're going to put a little muscle tester, sweetheart. It's going to give you a tight hug just like mommy gives you, okay? Okay, Mama Dad, we'll have you guys go back to the front at this point. We'll take very good care of her, okay? sedative drug, it's, it's propofol, and it does have an irritant effect on the, the vasculature, so on the veins. And so typically at this point, patients sometimes do move because it's a little bit irritating to their arm.
see some radio lucency right there, which is, you know, usually indicative of the uh, infection having traveled to the apex of the root. We're going to go ahead and uh, secure the airway uh, with a little bit of gauze so that when they're cutting and they're using water, none of the water travels back there and, and sort of gets uh, down the trachea or, or cause any other issues. Um, so that pack is secured. It's got some floss on there in case you need to take it out emergently. laterals are almost completely gone but if their nerve is alive we may do a laser crown lengthening and just put a little dome on those teeth so she can still keep them but I I'm afraid that this one tooth here is dead and infected so we're gonna have to look into that so first we're going to remove the gross decay with a regular burr and then we're going to do the um, crown lengthening with a laser and then we're going to build the teeth up This one here is alive because I can see the pink shining through. No tissue coming up. Ideally it should be bleeding. There should be red and pink tissue, but there's nothing. It's dead void. This is endo sequence. It's a bioceramic. We don't use gutta percha in this case. We're, we just fill the whole chamber up with endo sequence, and then I just kind of put a plug, uh, which also condenses the endo sequence uh, out of a thick mix of glass ionomer, uh, more like a little core. And on top of that, then I can proceed with my regular reconstruction of the tooth with composite. So we're mixing a very thick mix of K-Tac, it's a glass ionomer, and we're gonna make a little plug out of this, we're gonna put it in the chamber.
Okay, you can have a seat right here with her. We can get you another chair as well. Yeah. Okay, a couple of things you'll notice, maybe a little redness on the forehead, redness right at the tip of the nose. Okay, that'll go away over time. And then, let's, you know, she just had some monitoring here. So over the next two or three weeks, you're going to do um, a lot of stretching of the, of the lips. I'll show you how. First, you have to keep the area clean. So, you take some gauze. Some ozone water, you have this, right? You're gonna yes. take it home. Mm -hmm. We're gonna fold this up a little bit. Okay. It's kind of wet it. And just lift the lip up and just dab. Okay, the first two days just do this. Don't don't go like this. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like this, yeah. Okay. And maybe even the gums here. Okay. So this is a bioceramic, which is very healthy. Okay. Um, and when the permanent tooth comes down, it's going to eat away the old, the old tooth, the baby tooth, and it's going to throw it out. Okay. It's all occasional meat and honey adoption. Okay, folks. Thank you. Have a good rest of the day. Bye bye. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. We'll see her maybe in a month. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Bye. -bye.